Senator Dunham. Make no mistake, uh, what we are seeing here is Labor and the Greens teaming up to weaken our border security, the sovereignty of this nation. We've seen it today, we saw attempts at it last year, and there's no question about it. I listened to someone I respect and trust on the issue of border security, someone who knows what they're talking about, and that is Senator Molan. He knows what he's talking about. He has seen it firsthand. He spoke about the people who were the victims of the last Labor Green government's border security policies. And that is what we are seeing, a return to those sorts of arrangements which will undercut, undermine the security of this nation. Anyone who believes what's being said, that it isn't a weakening of our border security, that it doesn't change the policies, is being played for a fool. They say, trust us. Take, us, take us at our word. But I think the best way to measure whether these people can be trusted on border security, this is a group of people too, I might remind, those listening who are seeking later this year to win the next election. The best way to test whether these people, the Australian Labor Party propped up by their mates down here, the Australian Greens, is to check the record, to see what happened when they were running the country, when they were actually in charge of our border protection policies. And as we've heard countless times in this debate, 50,000 people arriving here during the time of the last government, 800 boats and 8,000 children, or at least up to 8,000 children, forcibly put into de detention as a result of their weak border policies. They go out there and they say it's about compassion and fairness and doing the right thing by disadvantaged people, but the only people who are getting something out of this are the people smugglers, the people who make money off the misery of others, the people who were the conduit for those people who paid money to come to this country, many of whom died at sea—1,200 we know of. How many more do we not know about that pushed off from the shores of the lands they left and never made it here were never accounted for? And as Senator Mullen pointed out, what medical treatment is available for those people who fell victim by way of death to that awful policy? So look at the record. See what they did last time they were in government, and then you know where we are headed. This is the first step to that awful set of arrangements which weaken our country's security and sovereignty. They are telegraphing their punches before they're even at an election. This is what they're going to be like. We will have weaker borders. Our country will be weaker for it. And I urge all Australians and senators contemplating how to vote on this to think twice before they trust Labor or the Greens on this issue.